nice work. Don't you know that? You're rough. What's he say? I don't understand him. He was an idiot. I ain't an idiot. Eh? You are. What? You're a bleeding idiot. You're out and see if you're as shit as people say. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great we are. For sex pistols. Do yourself a favour. <laughs> boring, Sydney. Boring, boring. Boring, boring, boring. Exterminate! Exterminate! He's paying a model. Posing for you. Of course, yes. Would you like it? You know I'm looking for Smee. No, tell me again, Captain. I'm looking for a boy, Smee. Oh, what kind of boy, Captain? A wicked boy. A heartless boy. A boy who never ate his rice pudding. Oh, horror! can there be... Couldn't you? Johnny, I couldn't possibly. I don't know anything about dogs, for a start. Nor do I want to. Well, she could live there. You know, with you at your place. Dogs have to be fed. I've been mean, taken for a walk. I'm out all day. You could, you know, feed her, take her for walks when you come home, like, of an evening. All this. I thought about law school once. Mm hmm Long time ago. It's a good thing I decided against it. I couldn't do what you do. That's uh, more perspiration than inspiration. I couldn't deal with all the rules, all the technicalities. But you really do love it, don't you? It oh, beats lifting heavy objects. <laughs> TV opens in 10 minutes. Hey, today's my lucky day. Right? See you later. He's lucky. The luckiest day he ever had. His fucking dog got run over. Is he fucked up or is he fucked up? I wouldn't let him operate on me. I'd have to be dead two years for I'm going to call Frankie about taking you on. Let's go back a bit. I'm afflicted. I see. Glean what afflicts me. Right. Question and answer. How should I begin? Address me. My dear Guildenstern. You've forgotten, haven't you? My dear Rosencrantz. The rain continued for an hour. I hung around for three or four. Around a million dollar baby. In a five-ten-cent store. Short and sweet hearing. Um, I, uh, I I really don't know what the situation is about. Nobody has told me anything except that I am accused of um, murdering a policeman. I know nothing more than that, and I do uh, request uh, someone to come forward to give me uh, a legal assistance. Were you ever in the? Uh, it's the English, you know. They're frightened of energy. What? They hate it if you raise your voice. Why is everyone so quiet in libraries? Politeness. Consideration for others. <gasps> Listen to them. <laughs> the children of the mind. 
What sweet music, Thugmark? Music? Those animals? It's not polite to stare. Well, that makes us practically related. <laughs> Grab a seat, boy. Grab yourself an egg roll. We got everything here from a little eye Joe to damn if I know. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. secret. I'm in hell! In the eye of the enemy, your husband who lurks at my side day and night, in the eye of every parishioner who comes to me to unburden their soul, I'm a pollution woman! I'm a lie! I do a lot of things, Your Honor. Mr. Glenn, are you aware that in a federal court system, perjury is a crime? Henry you Young is the one on trial. trial. I remind you, Jack, young man, man the that Henry Young is the one on trial here, not me. I am a, a public servant! I am not the bad guy. I will not be treated the same way as this. This lying, murdering, two-time loser! Silence, mister! No, should I have? Yeah, I'm, I'm a painter, too. Really? Too bad. <laughs> you know, I get it. Whoever you are, could you please move that stuff someplace else? We can't see the painting. Jean-Baptiste. Emmanuel Zorb. It's nice to see you again, Father. Ah, I remember you now. The so-called art dealer. Well, I'm glad you got your memory back. Because you're going to need it. We've set things in motion, but at this point we have to be realistic. It's going to take more time. More time? Your national security advisor has just been executed. He's a very good negotiator. What if they had it? Ravaged. Dying. <laughs> what good could you do? You can help them. You're a doctor. This order erupts directly from your corrupt religion, which erupts directly from this temple. That ends today. My soldiers will be posted here every minute of every day from now on. This order defiles the temple. Our religion forbids graven images in the temple. Your soldiers are an abomination to the temple. He's, He's already taken himself out of it, so... Right, right. Well, who the hell knows? Perhaps Laney, um... will shock the world by pulling out of brilliance and... Erudition, but the hearings that none of us know she had. So, Shelley, can we ask for basic fairness? 50 50 Democrat and Republican at the hearings? Of course we can. I hope it'll help you catch him to help cleanse the stigma of your recent dishonor. Thank you. I think that's Did all you I need. Find some rapport with Dr. Lecter in your talks at the asylum. I know I did while I was peeling. We exchanged information in a civil way. Watchman, that you you got your boy. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 get you the cash tomorrow. Uh, we're in. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Oh, oh. I, I, I'm getting that money from him. Banker. How do you know my name? My 
friend, you are in the doghouse. Mom and Pop are pissed. That's right. Save us and Maurice. Maurice is an asshole. We do. Hey, the asshole is the strongest muscle in the human body. Do you think there's any food left? Oh, man, I really couldn't tell you, right? My name's Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Charlie, this bitch is breaking my balls, man. I'm not used to being treated this way. I, I know you're not, Jeff, honey. In Shaving Private Ryan, he was taking high-protein animus from a squad of Nazi stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah, he's a better actor than you're getting credit for. He looked like he was really enjoying it. Oh, uh, when you finished in here, leave the rig and the... Uh, put... I found his dad. Let's kill him. No! I trusted you. And all this time, you've been his friend. Don't, I'm terribly sorry. So let me get straight to it. Did you or did you not put your name into the Goblet of Fire? No! Shh! I had to ask. Now, tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned Wormtail and Vortabore, but who was the third? I couldn't find any mob bosses. Well, Sergeant. Oh, it's Lieutenant now. You really started something. Bent cops running scared, hope on the streets. But the Narrows is lost. We still haven't picked up Crane or half the inmates of Arkham that he freed. We will. Yeah. Yeah, I try and work on it every chance I can. What about this location? I feel you can... You can really breathe. Why don't you open the door or we can show them the inside? Good idea. You're not incapable of enjoying nature, even for a minute, aren't you? <laughs> Do you really think there's going to be a war, Sirius? It feels like it did before. You'll keep it. Anyway, I suppose you're the young ones now. Without telling me what we're after. I can give you the names of the banks. Well, that's a start. I'll get you your warrants, but I want your trust. Well, you don't have to sell me that. We all know you're Gotham's white knight. I heard they have a different name for me down at MCU. I would love that name. Were the three men you killed? <laughs> Michael Dux, not CIA. Not CIA? What are you talking about? He owns a club. Was a front. V. No. I just don't understand. That's a shitload of books. You don't have to understand. I understand. Leave that to me and we can be friends. I have faith in you. You'll find it. Tell me who it is. Her. Not you. If you wish to save yourself, simply give it what it wants. But you do have a blind spot. You reckon if I was known to be Anne's lover, wouldn't be able to see me straight. He was right. Up to a point. Does it hurt? Dying? Quicker than falling asleep. 
You're nearly there, son. I'm sorry. I never wanted any of you to die. Changes the way we live. You know, you're right. I have lost touch with your generation. What, what was your name again? Adam Cassidy. How old are you? 27. Well, when I was two years younger than you are now, I was pioneering digital cellular technology while my colleagues were still pissing around with electronic pulses. I had vision. But you... We had to repair the damaged areas, but we didn't interfere with your emotion or your intellect. Do you, un you understand me, Alex? You're, you're in control. I'm in control? Yes. Okay. These are all human conditions. Now, you brought up suicide before. And that concerns me. Do you want to kill yourself, Gabriel? Do you really want to kill yourself? Put anything which on the man's my authority. If you, you portray my officers as incompetent, if you do any of these things, I will kill myself. General Nesterov. The Dutchman said, I ain't but you forced uh, to play because you thought you could trust him. You thought you could pay him off. Billy! Where did you put him? Remember! Remember! You got me confused. Body on the pile. Go ahead. Finish me. But don't think for a moment it will change what you are. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying we go short-term contingency. We have Dr. Lowe deliver the baby on Mars. We keep this quiet. We, we wait this out. Sarah may have behaved irresponsibly, but she's no longer just an astronaut, and it's not just a Genesis decision. She's... A mother now. Heroic in going down fighting if it can be avoided. Nothing even remotely patriotic in death or glory if the odds are firmly on the former. Nothing inglorious in trying to shorten a war that we are clearly losing. Losing! Europe is still... Europe is lost. Move the closest carrier battle group into position. Yes, sir. And you should know we have special operators on route to determine Sakaran's intentions. Admiral Fisk, I don't think I need to explain to a war hero such as yourself, but when someone is shooting at you, you know their intentions. Did all moments are the same moment? I think it might be bad for us to do something like that. Bad? Yeah, bad is... It's such a big word for being such a small word. Raise the anchor. 
She wants us to keep going. is in order. You need to follow up with Agent Brian after they come for me. He knows what to do, but it will be hard for me to communicate with him directly once the chaos ensues. I just want you to know that I tried. Oh, no. I really, really, really tried. What happened? Jade. What? Why is the senator on TV? Your only admirer. The thing you got so right in your script was how lonely he'd been as a boy. When my own mother heard he was one of the richest men in America, she said, kick a little higher. Edge. It's important not to get too close to the flame. Leave it alone. I mean, you're like a dog with a bone with this thing. Just cut and I'll talk to you. He's baiting you. Leading you into his world. Looking for her. I, I was looking for my son, not my wife, and you told me no one had been here. I lied. We played gin. Why would you lie about that? Why would you lie about that? I was afraid that you would punish her. For playing Jin. It doesn't matter. The point is, Dr. Fox, is that nothing's happened. No. Hmm? No, I know what I saw. No, I didn't harass anybody. That is all North right. We can't have any contact until the tenure hearing. It's against the rules. <laughs> Dragging my name through the mud? Is that part of the rules? Keep your voice down. Come with me. 